Yes, my people, good morning. My name is Ali Kabir Musa. Today, as usual, we are going to continue with our normal tutorial classes on mathematics, particularly on how to solve simultaneous equations. This time around, we are going to see how we can form a simultaneous equation from a, an equation that is not habitable for solving simultaneous equations to a way that will be more easier to solve the simultaneous equation. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for us to keep running. Thank you so much. Let's see how we can go about it. Thank you. We can see that the two equations on the board are in fractional form. So what are we going to do to make the two equations in a way that will be more suitable for solving simultaneous system of equation. So in this case, the best thing to do is to pick the first equation and simplify it, then pick the second equation and also simplify it. So le let's see what are we going to do. We say solution. What are we going to do? We said that the first equation is d all over 4 minus n all over 3 is equal to 6. Then we have to look for the LCM of 4 and 3. And of course, the LCM of 4 and 3 is 12. The reason why I said we have to look for the LCM of 4 and 3 because 4 and 3 are the denominators. D over 4, 4 is the denominator. N over 3, 3 is the denominator. So now, 4 will go into 12 3 times. 3 will go into 12 4 times. That means the LCM is 12. Then if the LCM is 12, that means we have to multiply all through by 12. Multiplying all through by 12 means 12 multiplying D all over 4 minus 12 multiplying L N over 3 is equal to 12 multiplying 6, I think x 72. Then, what are, what are we going to do next? 4 will go into 12, 3 times, 3 times d, I have 3d minus 3 will go into 12, 4 times, 4 times n is 4n is equal to 72. Now, we have succeeded in forming one of the two equations as required to solve in simultaneous equation. Then let me draw a line and pick the second equation and simplify it also. 3d all over 2 plus 5n all over 6 is equal to 2. The same thing we did here, we are now going to do it here. The LCM of 2 and 6, of course, is 6 because 2 will go into 6 three times. Then three, 6 will go into 6 one then that means i have to multiply all through by six that means six multiplying three d all over two close bracket plus six multiplying five n all over six close bracket is equal to six multiplying two of course it's 12. i think it's not difficult it's very easy very simple then 2 will go into 6 3 times. 3 times this 3, 9. I have 9D plus 6 will go into 6, 1. That means 6 and 6 will cancel out. I have 5N is equal to 12. This is the second equation required to complete the two equations so as to move by solving a simultaneous equation. So therefore, I have 3d minus 4n is equals to 72. I also have 9d plus 5n is equals to 12. And this is a perfect simultaneous equation. So from this place, you either adopt simultaneous elimination method, substitution method, or graphical method. Don't forget, we also have a graphical method of solving simultaneous equation, which I believe that 
in our subsequent lessons, we shall get to know how to solve simultaneous equation using graphical method. But from this stage, you will go for your normal operation to adopt either elimination or substitution method to solve. For more information on how to solve simultaneous equation, you can trace my previous lessons and see I had some videos on how to solve simultaneous equation using substitution method. From there, you can learn more about simultaneous equation. So this is all I have for you for today. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with other people so as to hit the ground running. Once more, my name is Aliyu Kabiru Musa. Bye.